Hello and welcome to Containment Breach 3 Minute Meets. I'm Christian DeMatteo, co founder of Fugitive Poems Comics, and uh, I am so excited. I'm actually I'm actually a little a little staggered right now because I just saw some art that you guys aren't gonna get to see yet. I don't I don't think. I don't think. Uh, but holy cow. But but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just thrown off by the glory that was just in front of me. And this glory came from these two contributors to Containment Breach, Volume 2, Myth Reborn, Ryan Burke, and Elliot Rodriguez. Gentlemen, how are you? Doing well. Doing well. Yeah, I'm doing doing fine also. Very excited and happy to be here. Thank you uh, for letting us participate in this uh, anthology. Oh. So I, mm. I, you know, I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves first. I'm going to talk a little bit about how I know you gentlemen and uh, and how happy I am that you're here. But let me, uh, I, I, Elliot, you got to forgive. You got to forgive me this, but I can't help this. Yeah. I'm going to ask the writer to talk first. How rude yeah, is yeah. that? No, no problem. James, and then James can yell at me later. Uh, you know what? That's wrong. Elliot, I'm going to ask you first because James will yell at me. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Elliot, who the heck are you? Yeah, uh, I am... Uh, um... In terms of the project, I am an, an artist. I'm working with uh, with Ryan uh, here, and, um, and and yeah, I'm from uh, South America. I'm 36 years old. Uh, I um, I have a, a day job, and, and uh, I'm trying to get my foot into the, the comic industry a little bit by little. And uh, I, yeah, I'm just mostly working on art. And I was lucky enough to be asked by uh, Christian to participate in this project, and um, and also. Uh, also very uh, happy uh, that I've been uh, uh, teamed up with Ryan. Ryan is, uh, has given us an excellent script, and I'm glad that uh, he's given me a lot of freedom to do what I will, what I'd like to do with with uh, these pages, and um, and, and yeah, I mean, uh, I speak Spanish, I speak English, uh, I live I live in in Lima and South America and Peru, and uh, and yeah, I'm just happy to, to to be here. Really grateful and uh, and ready to to knock this one out the park, as they say, and then hopefully you know give you guys something that you guys are going to be really happy with and. And, uh, and yeah, just looking forward to all the fun that we have ahead for you guys. Uh, and it's going to be terrific. Am I remembering correctly that you've also lived in the States? Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's correct. I lived in the States for a long time. I lived in uh, in Patterson, New Jersey, um, which I think is really close to where you're at, uh, Kristen. Yes? Kristen? Yeah, I'm, I'm in Westchester County, right above the Bronx in New York. Nice, nice, nice. And, uh, and yeah, so I lived uh, for a few years in Patterson, and I lived uh, more time in uh, in the South, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh. And, um, and, and yeah, I just uh, uh, grew up um, in the in the 90s in the States, and uh, I remember getting a lot of artistic influence from uh, the early uh, 90s comics back in the day, and um, heavily influenced by the, you know, Jim Lee, Mark Silvestri, Mark Bagley, I love, I love yeah, exactly, yeah, that's it, yeah, Mark Bagley, Spider-Man, and um and yeah, so I just tried to uh, to put my spin on. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah Ghost Rider. <laughs> and um, and yeah, I'm a big fan of those early comics and just trying to to, to emulate that and put my own spin on things and uh, and grow as an artist. And um, and yeah, yeah, that, that's that's right. Well, it's it's terrific. Uh, this has been happening on every interview. I have a child entering. Excuse me. Hey, yes, Zach, no buddy, can you go to mommy right now? Okay, buddy, I love you. This is this is professionalism in pandemic era. <laughs> we keep the edits in. This all stays. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. This yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'm not cutting any of these. I, I, I war a couple of people have been like, I'm a little nervous about doing this. I'm like, trust me. I think I said this to you, Ryan. Not that you were nervous. As in my utter lack of professionalism will make everything chill. Uh, I, 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 and one of the big reasons I wanted to do these interviews was to meet everybody. Uh, so, Ryan, who the heck are you? Nice. Uh, I am English, handsome, a comics writer. Uh, I've been working on an ongoing uh, noir Humble. series called Humble. <laughs> I'm right. working on an ongoing noir series called Coronary. It's kind of on the back burner for a bit. And I'm working on a sci-fi novel called Cry of Leviathan right now. And I'm working with Elliot on a project that is so at fudging good <laughs> i'm trying to keep these family friendly and i asked everyone to to try and watch your language which is really mostly about me as i pointed out mm -hmm. 
I love <laughs> profanity so much. Uh, I've offended Elliot. He left. Um, oh. but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's let's di- let's dissect because I hate the corporate term unpack. Let's dissect mm. what you just said. Uh, first of all, a complaint. Why the hell is this on the back burner? I freaking love it. I'm. I, we just need we need someone with a heap of money to give it to us, and then we can keep going. Well, then I apologize for bringing it up. <laughs> we're we're pitching it around at the moment. If we don't get any bites, we'll be doing Kickstarter issue five. Just... This is so good, and and you know I, I was talking to Casey Allen uh, today. Uh, the Comic Jam uh, is, uh, I'm, I'm, I've been published a couple of times on the Comic Jam. They welcome me into their group. They're an incredible group of people. And I've been getting to write these one pagers, which has been incredible for training my mind on brevity and effect. And when you don't have a page flip for a reveal, everything's got to be right in front of you. It's been, and I was talking to Casey today uh, about it. And um, Casey's got a great comic called Voodoo Child, which is up on, uh, on Kickstarter. Uh, and he's writing uh, Bigfoot Knows Karate. I believe I believe that's what it's called. And it looks like a ton of fun. I think that's going on Kickstarter too. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but he was talking about how many people see the medium as, a, he said, a four-color superhero medium. And that they don't use all the things that you can do with it. I, I mean, Eisner opened this up with a contract with God how long ago, but people still see it the same way. And when I read, hell, when I read the description for Coronary, I was like, this is this is what I want. This is something else. And then I got it and I read it and I was so taken with it. The art is just phenomenal, beautiful and affecting. Uh, it's such a good looking book. And the story takes turns you're not expecting at all. And so I when when, when I got in touch with Ryan, I'm like, all right, when am I getting getting part two? And he actually said to me, that's funny, I opened the file today and I was really excited about that. That was terrific, and it's it's great. The this cover is one of the most clever things. I, I mean, I've read this several times. It cracks me up. Just the cover, and here's no baby girl. Can you? Uh, Thank you very much. I'm humble by that. That's that's wonderful. I'm so sorry, mommy. <laughs> mommy, tell baby girl, you want to say hi? This yeah. one's gonna be just as good. Hey. Here's my baby girl. Can you get hey, hello? Thank you. We we need hi. a mommy right now. Nice. I'm actually lucky that uh, mine is us. Uh, my my daughter is sleeping, Hi. so Hi. hopefully, whoa, she probably might wake up in a few moments. Okay, you, but yeah, I love you. I'm sorry, <laughs> Elliot. You said yours is sleeping. Yeah, yeah. No, so no, but uh, she'll she'll probably be up in a few moments. But, uh, but yeah. yeah. That's why None, it's so of, it's getting None yeah, of yeah. it. None of it. Just for the record. Uh, <laughs> 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 this is his uh, interview verita um mm-hmm. so now the other thing that you said you're working on uh i think you undersold as well ryan is writing a novel live basically he's wow. like uh, he's like kafka's starvation artist it's happening right in front of you uh which is a great story if you if you haven't read kafka's starvation artist it's great uh but you am i right you're mm. writing this weekly yeah i'm doing uh, a thousand words a week um, uh, I've just finished week nine. By the time this comes out, who knows what week we'll be on. That's great. Yeah, I'm huh? just, just cracking away at it. Kind of terrified. <laughs> Every interview, I'm like, I'm terrified. But nah, just got to keep keep pushing at it. What made you decide to do this? Well, it's because uh, coronary is on the back burner, in okay. honesty. I was like, I've got to find some stuff to do. I'm idle hands. Absolutely, absolutely. Find some good fun stuff to do. So yeah, yeah, and, and, and this and project as well. I, I'm so I'm excited. Segueing everything back, everything. beautiful, right back <laughs> to the next question. I'm so excited to have you on here because again, I read, I met Ryan because of this caught my attention, and having you work on the, um, having you work on on the book was was so cool to get you got on that you got on board, and then Elliot is someone who had, uh, I don't remember which of us stumbled on the other first. I'm, I'm going to open something up here to share. Uh, but um, Elliot's work just absolutely struck me. 
And every mm. week Elliot's putting out new stuff and he's trying different styles and he's sharpening his skills. And I, I was so impressed with what he was doing. We asked Elliot to do it's the first time I'm sharing screen on the recording. Um, let's hope I don't have anything awful, any tabs in the background I shouldn't be sharing. Uh, <laughs> um, but we asked him to do a alternate cover, a variant cover okay. for our distributary comics. So Rivers Part 1, Distributary <laughs> 2, and James Lines drew these, my partner. Uh, and um, we asked Elliot, oh, this goes to the thing. No, there you go. To do, I pressed the wrong button. I've ruined everything. There we go. To do this alternate, alternate variant, this variant cover. And it came out absolutely beautiful. And we're so excited with your work, Elliot. This was yeah, thank a you. cool thing to have. And James was absolutely I, having someone else draw your characters, right? We are so intimately connected to these characters in the River Story. Having someone else take a hand at them was unbelievable. When it came time to pair up our writers and artists for the anthology, which was some of the most fun we've ever had, uh, uh, whiskey, beer, and uh, a Zoom meeting, um, I was so excited to get you two together. Uh, there's something about Ryan's sensibility in his writing that felt both right and different with Elliot's sensibility in his art. And, and James really zeroed in on that. He was like, this is going to be fun to see what the hell they work together. Yeah. And that brings us back to what I brought up at the beginning. I just saw some of what Elliot did, and it's, it's mind-blowing. How, how, how is it for you guys working together? How's the process been? Um, You're pretty good, honestly. Nah, you first. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but, um, but yeah, it's just it's worked really well. Um, uh, we got in contact, and uh, from the very beginning, uh, we started sharing some ideas. Uh, I, I threw some ideas at, at Ryan, Ryan uh, also at myself. Um, we had uh, thought up of a prompt uh, very early on um, in the in the in the talks, and um, and, and yeah, we, we, I showed them some of my work, other work also, so you can get a taste of like what the what things I could do with my art. Um, so you can also have an idea of like how to to write it accordingly. And uh, and yeah, it's been working great. Um, I've been. Uh, uh, asking him for help in, in some of the panels, uh, just to make sure that we get the right feel, the right angles, um, make sure that uh, mm -hmm. the expressions also line up with what his vision is for the story. And uh, and it's, it's been working great. It's been working really great so far. And um, and Ryan's an excellent person uh, to work with. Um, haven't had any trouble at all. Uh, once Not I do, yet. I'll, well, yeah, once yet. I do though, once <laughs> I do though, I'll be sure to to get in contact with uh, with Christian. <laughs> but no, no, everything's been working great, though. Everything's been working great. We'll do the interview equivalent of a diss track. Yeah. <laughs> record one of these and just talk about Ryan. Like, wait, is he gone yet? Is he gone? Yeah. So the thing is, it, <laughs> I I, don't know, I just think it's been such a natural and in, in kind of flowing process. Um, one of the unique things about this is just kind of asking, like, Elliot, like, what do you like drawing? Like, what, yeah. what's your favorite thing to do? And then work from there down and build a script around uh, what we enjoy, which is Oh, really wow. Cool. Oh, I didn't realize that that was sort of the germination. That's very cool. Mm. That's very cool. And the first things <laughs> Elliot suggested were so shockingly inappropriate, you had to jettison that approach. <laughs> but if I remember the story correctly. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Um, um, I got to play in the sandbox a little bit with you, Ryan, when we when we looked at the script and getting to bounce ideas with you, your script, all your ideas, but getting to your, your 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 script was so fertile that we got to play around with a little bit of imagery and concepts. And it was a ton of fun. Just a little bit we did. I can only imagine how you guys have been going back and forth and seeing again, you guys, you're not going to get to see it right now. But seeing what I just saw and what Ryan just saw, you hadn't seen it yet, right? The art we just uh, looked at. The original is not. But that's as a whole thing. I've seen panels, I've yeah. seen yeah. bits, but as a whole page, ugh, it's gonna be good. Thank you. It, it's it really is so cool. Yeah, um, it's, it's something that, that I like to say to that is that um, I've worked with uh, other writers before, and um, and and I'm I'm new to the whole working with someone uh, uh, aspect of, of the comic process, and uh, something that I really really uh, appreciate, uh, especially in this case, is that. Um, 
uh, and I, I've heard that this ha has happened in the in main comics also, like where you have a writer, you have an artist, and then the uh, or the writer says, uh, "I'm looking for this kind of artist because I want this kind of art to 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 be used in the comic, and I want him to 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 go crazy with that art." And and Ryan was really kind of to take that approach also with me, and so uh, as you mentioned, he said, "What do you like to draw?" And so I showed him a bunch of pictures of things that I like to do, and and um. And, uh, and I really appreciate that he's working with that because it's given me a, a, a lot of, uh, of freedom to, to really get in with what I like to do. And, and I, I always think that like, if you, if you really, if you love it, if you're involved in it, in it, it's going to come out much better. And so I, I'm really, I'm really happy with what, uh, with what we're, with what, with the story that we're going to put out for you guys. And, um, I, I hope you guys also like it also. I, I am, I was a fan of both of you before I did we did the anthology yeah, yeah. and and having having you guys working together and seeing what you've done this is a thrill for me I don't know what's going to happen in the future we're all working our butts off we want to make this happen but whatever it is and just this moment right now talking to you guys yeah. uh and, and I love discovering that all you people are awesome by the way getting to me as <laughs> great people every interview I've done everyone's been cool you guys are cool yeah. except for no I'm kidding uh <laughs> Except for James. <laughs> Except for James. Except for James. Shark. God, I hate him. Uh, James uh, is awesome. He's awesome. James is a um, James is a boon in my life. Meeting the, the way that we ended up meeting to do this thing, uh, I I'm so lucky to have a creative partner like him. And and when I when I talk to when when you talk to people who the production is working together so well. You understand that it's it's a rare and fantastic thing. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you this very important comic question at the end. If someone gave you all the time, because as you get older, you realize that time is even more valuable than money. Exactly. If yeah. someone gave you all the time and all the money that you could need to do, so you could do whatever you wanted, what would an average Wednesday afternoon look like? I'll let Ryan answer first. <laughs> I did the other one. Wow. <laughs> Just throw me under the bus like that. <laughs> Dude, he said Wednesday afternoon, and you're making me go first. <laughs> yeah. When, that, that's tomorrow. What are you expecting me to do? <laughs> but in this version of tomorrow, you have all the time and the money you could ever want. Ooh. Creatively? Oh, that's a tough one. Oh. You got me. You you actually got me. I always have a good quip. I always have a, a statement, and you just oh. <laughs> Elliot, do you have anything? Yeah, Very yeah, um, yeah. No, no problem. No, it's, uh, uh, in my case, like if, if I had the freedom to do anything, I'd be uh, uh, doing my own creator own project, and I would uh, be at my table uh, drawing away. Um, getting that uh done which would be uh great like um um yeah yeah that would be a, a something that i would really look forward to one day hopefully st starting on See, my own project which would you'd be, be working but you'd be working on what you wanted uh, exactly yeah, yeah yeah exactly i'm gonna piggyback back in i i i'm i think my favorite part of the comics process is probably the collaboration bit so I think I'd be working with uh, Joel, who is the artist on Coronary, on more Coronary stuff, just cranking out page after page after page and just keeping it going. That's what we'd be doing. That's what I want to do, at least. Look at this layout. The layouts in here astonish me. Nice. Yeah. I, the, 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 ah, great. It's a great book with a great story, and I need to know what happens next. All right. Well, so you've you got know, Wednesday afternoon. I'll get it done. <laughs> Wednesday afternoon. You've done your work. It's Wednesday evening. What happens then? All the time and money. Can you I stay on camera? Just hang out with the family, take them to a movie or something. Or I don't know, go go buy some stuff. I don't know. But uh, just to spend time with family, definitely. Yeah. It's also it's also something uh, with uh, the creative process. Uh, in my case, you know, um, spend a lot of time drawing and then sometimes it clashes with fam family time so yeah uh, get, getting getting more time with them is also something that i, I have to look forward to
how great would it be to be able to be fully creative yeah. during the work hours? But but Ryan was totally no. not going in that direction. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> how, yeah. how, I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm a poor fit. I should have been an orphan. Should have been born an orphan, and then I'd have all the time in the world. <laughs> yeah. That is a hard aspect of being a, a being a creator. Uh, you're loving the people around you and loving what you do. And there's just not being enough yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. Gentlemen, speaking of yeah, time. That, oh, I'm sorry, Brian. Go ahead. I know. That's another thing I love, too, that it, it's it's not a job. It's something we're all doing out of uh, yeah. love for the craft and the passion for it. So, uh, yeah, there are times when things get a little too much and we can all st take a step back. Let it breathe a little and jump back in. Do you, though, have the compulsion that if you're not creating you feel guilt or weight yeah. Yeah, yes yeah. it's That's... partially why i'm doing <laughs> doing that thousand words a week so i can tell myself yeah ryan you're a writer you did yeah. stuff that's yeah. weak like, nice i i saw this so i saw this thing that said becoming a writer is like giving yourself homework for life and I think the same is true for 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 any creative mm -hmm. because it's not a nine to five that you walk away from, right? And when you're not doing it, the weight, I love it, but oh, it's also a thing. That's true. That's very, very true. Real. Yep. But 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 that I guess is passion, right? Like when you're when you're full, when you're in love and you can't when you're not with that person, it's overwhelming. It's it's that passion. Gentlemen, you guys have a passion for this. I am so excited that you're on this project. I thank you for talking to me for so long on a Tuesday night, which might throw off your incredible Wednesday afternoon. Um, you're the only guys, by the way, that I threw the Wednesday afternoon in for. Uh, so I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I thank you. Um, fall of this year, keep an eye out for Containment Breach Volume 2, the Kickstarter at Fugitive Poems on Twitter, at Fugitive Poems on uh, Instagram, at CDMETC is me on Twitter. Uh, Ryan, where can we find you? Uh, you'll find me on Twitter at Ryan Berg Writer. Uh, Facebook is Coronary Comic Book, I believe. Okay. Google Coronary. You'll find it. <laughs> Hopefully uh, not the, uh, the debilitating uh, heart disease comic. Go very comic, and then you'll get right there. <laughs> uh, Elliot, where can we find you, sir? Yeah, yeah, I'm also uh, mostly on Twitter, uh, and the handle is at uh, Nygma, N-Y-G-M-A 85. And, uh, yeah, I post art as often as I can. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, you can just take a look at me there. If, um, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, I try to post art as often as I can. And I'll be posting more... Um, more uh, sneak peeks and uh, exclusive looks at uh, the art that's coming up for the project and uh, and hopefully you guys will like it and and yes please be keep an eye open on the kickstarter campaign absolutely guys fugitivepoems.com subscribe to get information i try and write blog posts when i can i'm terrible at it but if you subscribe i will definitely send you all the important information the information about the kickstarter you're going to want to be on and on this look at the talent that we got here um Gentlemen, thank you so much. Much appreciated. We are Fugitive Poems, and we make comics. <laughs>